Hey, what is up you guys? Today I wanted to do a get it all done with me type video. I have a long to-do list. Today is Friday and we have an insane weekend ahead of us. Normally on Fridays, I spend literally all day at the park with my friends, but today I'm skipping out on that just so that I can get a bunch of stuff done before the weekend ahead. We have like three parties to go to. The first one is tomorrow. It's a Halloween party and then on Sunday, there's there's actually two parties. One's a birthday party that I need to prepare a gift for. It's one of Adrian's little friends. And then on that same day, we have another Halloween party. So right now, um, we are out of coffee beans. <laughs> and as we all know, who can survive without coffee? I don't know, not me. So I'm going right now to go pick up some coffee beans at our local coffee shop because that's where we buy them. I just wanted to start the video here. If you're new, hi, I'm Laura, I'm 26, I'm a mom of two, and I try to get new videos out every week. Keyword is try. <laughs> Sorry for the late uploads lately, my life is a mess. <laughs> But just know that I am always working on a video. When I get back, I'm going to write my to-do list and we're gonna try and get a few things done today. So summer went away way too quick. I'm wearing my fuzzy fall slash winter coat. It's cold, it's rainy, it ain't pretty. So I don't know about you guys, but I am such a list person and you can find multiple random lists all around my house. I just find it fun to write things down. Here I'm using the acronym COPS for this to-do list, which is cooking, cleaning, organizing, planning, and self-care. And I got that from Beauty and the Beastins, which is one of my favorite channels on YouTube. We are starting out in the kitchen, specifically with the fridge. I feel like 7 out of 10 times my fridge needs a clean out. I tend to just hoard leftovers in there and leave things on the back burner. It's definitely one of my procrastination tasks. Mostly because it involves dealing with the compost, which I find gross, but it is something that needs doing, so it is what it is. Also, I'm cracking up at how massive this compost bag is. It's not all from my fridge. There was already stuff in the bucket when I decided to do this. Despite how gross it is to deal with, there is no better feeling than a clean fridge with fresh groceries and also having all of your Tupperware clean and available to use. I know for me, I usually always clean out the fridge right before I get groceries and I'm always super grateful that I did it when I go to put them away. These mundane tasks sometimes feel like such a slog, but I do believe that it's the little things in life that really make a difference in how you feel.
I basically have zero organization skills when it comes to the fridge. I mainly just put things where they fit and a lot of times it looks like a mess. <laughs> I really want to invest in some fridge storage slash organization containers, especially for our cans and stuff, but I literally don't even know where to start and I think I'll have to look on Pinterest. <laughs> The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Oh, come run away. Emotions. The first step is always hard When you walk out of the doorway But that's just the place to start The only thing I so I just finished cleaning out the fridge, which is a huge relief. This is definitely something that I put off doing. <laughs> and yeah, so I'm just so happy that it's over now and it's done. And now the next thing I need to do is clean my bathtub, which is another thing that I completely put off doing all the time. <laughs> so if you're like me and your bathtub is nearing the realm of disgusting, just do it. You're gonna feel so much better when it's done. And then you can look forward to the next time that you want to have a bath or a shower because you'll have a beautiful clean tub to get into. I'm really just saying this for myself because I am not in the mood to clean my bathtub right now. <laughs> but it's definitely something I need to do. So it's about 20 past 12 and I need to pick up my groceries between one and 1.30. So I'm gonna do this now and then I'm gonna go get my groceries. I'm just trying to get by. I don't know how you do it Trying to keep you off my mind I can't hold to it you make it This is how much magic eraser I have left I go back again There's honestly something so refreshing about cleaning the bathtub. It's just one of those things that I feel really accomplished after doing. And I find it gets dirty pretty fast as both kids are always taking baths and Tom and I also love taking baths, especially during the winter months. So having it be clean and ready to use is a must. Normally Tom and Adrian help bring in the groceries and put them away, but for the sake of this video, I did it all myself. Just wanted to throw that out there, they are very helpful normally. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm 
Okay, so after I was done putting the groceries away, I decided to clean up the cat's mat that they eat on. I don't know why, but my cats have always made a huge mess with their food every single time. I pour it and they just spread it everywhere. So I have to clean it up fairly often, but this time I decided to give it a wash as well. How cute is this food bowl? I actually made this for them back in 2019 at a clay cafe, and thankfully it's still intact and it's still as nice as the day I made it. Which is surprising because both my kids have been obsessed with it when they were babies and it's been dropped quite a few times. Hello you guys, it is the next day. Kinda fell off yesterday after doing the fridge and the bathtub and the groceries and all that. Not gonna lie, I kinda just lost my mojo. So it was not a get it all done with me kind of day. It was a get some of the things done. And I'm back today to get the rest of it done. So I'm not actually having the best day. I feel very blah and unmotivated and just like kind of frustrated randomly. Yeah, it's just one of those days that like every minor thing is frustrating me. So I need to get out of my funk and finish the tasks at hand. So at the moment, I am headed to Walmart um, to pick up a present for Adrian's friend who's having a birthday party tomorrow. I also want to make a birthday card with my Cricut today. And then the last dreaded task that I have to do is the coat closet. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if I'm gonna do that. <laughs> we will see. Okay, so we are back home now, and I ended up getting Adrian's friend a doll that looked kind of similar to her and this cute little outfit. I will use any excuse to wrap a present. I low-key kind of love it. <laughs> I know a lot of people dread it, especially during Christmas time, but I find it fun. <laughs>
I also decided to make a birthday card with my Cricut and I have to preface this by saying I am not crafty like this and I could definitely use a lot more practice. But I thought I would take this opportunity to do just that. I love doing crafts, but yeah, I am not a pro by any means. I found a similar looking card on Etsy for inspiration and then I just made my own using PicMonkey. So basically after everything was cut out, I glued it to a black piece of construction paper and then I had to glue back on all of the little pieces of the letters, which was time consuming since they're so small. So you were like me, you wanna be free like a summer night. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling down, I don't know why, what an alibi. But I'm glad you here. I also stupidly did not get a shot of the finished product, um, so I took this frame from the video and turned it around, so you get the gist. It's a few days later. It's actually like a whole week later. <laughs> and I know that Halloween has already passed and everything, but honestly, I find it takes me a long time to edit these videos. So it is what it is. I did not end up getting the coat closet done, but that's life. You can't always get everything on your to-do list finished. And there's pretty much always something that doesn't get finished whenever I do mine. But anyway, I just finished editing this video and I wanted to give a formal goodbye. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Bye.